Hi there. This is a special segment with Chung Lee. I'm actually interviewing uh, people of Bullhead City. And this is my first interviewee with my good friend, Clan Master J. Well, keep your damn hands off me. I don't like them color folks touching me. I'm actually uh, colorblind. All right. Damn straight. All right. Yeah, so that means we're all right. That means we're okay. Um, actually, uh, so you came here today uh, with, with a few pressing issues. One was uh, mm -hmm. black people and rap music. That's Another right. was uh, funding. And then uh, you actually your new uh, rap album. Oh yes, yes, yes. See, Clan Master J returns. I'm gonna start with my rap album because I think that's most important. All you right. see, I'm bringing it back to the fundamentals. It was actually my great peepaw who invented rap music in the first place, and the black people they stole it from him. They stole the yeah. rap music. You know from what? You. We'll get to that later. Black people stole rap music from white people. Damn right they did. Oh, okay then. Tell me more. Oh. You want to hear the whole story? Yes, I do. It all started a very, very long time ago on the plantations. You see, the black people, they used to hear my peepaw sing all the time. Walking up and down, strutting. Yeah, that's right. And he was spitting rhymes. He was spitting rhymes all the time. He would freestyle battle. And they stole it from him. Stole it from him. Wow. So then, that you're uh, so you they stole it from you, and now you're keeping the tradition alive with your new rap album, Rap Master J Returns, or a Clan, actually, Clan Master. I'm sorry, Clan Master J Returns. That's right, Clan Master J. Yeah. You get it right, Chung. You yeah. actually, I heard that you came from actually a group, uh, Clan Style, with uh, three other members. I, I read that they someone that they got killed. Yeah, they did. They got killed by some black people. Well, you see, it's it's actually kind of a funny story. We was all hanging out, and then uh, we decided to go get some uh, Keystone Light, and uh, Bobby Diesel Jr. and Little Turkey, they forgot to take off their damn clan mask before they walked into the Walmart. Yeah, actually, you guys were actually in the hood. Yeah, we actually took a... Compton. Yeah, we took a wrong turn somewhere along the line. We was pretty drunk. We probably shouldn't have been getting more Keystones, but you know how that goes, right? Yeah, let's just say yes. Well, um, Damn right. I'm sorry to hear yes. about your, uh, your your tragedy in your life, and uh, I know that actually has a lot of influence in your your new rap song, uh, Clan uh, Clan Clan Best Friends or something like that. What? Clan Friends. That's what it is. Clan Friends for Life, which yeah. is like uh, you take the instrumentals from like Thug Life or something like that. Yeah, the Tupac. Right. Yeah. Um, I would actually I would actually like to uh, hear some of your music. All right, this goes out to Little Turkey. You know. God rest his soul. Alright, ready? Let's Give me this. a beat, Chung. Come on. Alright, ready? Uh, yeah! Shout out to Little Turkey. You know what I'm saying? Woo! Yeehaw! All you Mexicans, black people, slant eyed bitches. Clan Master Jay's been preparing some ditches. I've been on a mission. So give me your attention. Got a brand new rope and it's ready for lynching. Screaming the N-word at the top of my lungs. Got the homie Kramer riding shotgun. Uh, All right, uh, yeah. that's actually yeah. uh, oh, boy. I think that's enough. Uh, but you don't want to hear more? Actually, I had to take my jacket off for that. Uh, yeah, got a little crazy. Huh? All right, all right, man. Yeah. Um, that's uh, I think that's about it for uh, people. Uh, a talk with the people in Bullhead City is segment done by yours truly, Chung Lee. And, uh, hey, what I tell you? We'll see you guys tomorrow, folks. <laughs>